Hello everyone, welcome to Linux Automations. So welcome to the Docker series videos, which we are uh, discussing. And in my past video, which I have discussed like introduction to the Docker. And in this today's video, um, uh, I'm going to discuss like uh, how do we install Docker on CentOS. So I have picked the CentOS operating system, which means it is the same process with uh, Red Hat Linux and Amazon Linux. But I'm picking CentOS operating system for this particular video series. And the Docker in Docker also, which I'm picking to install is from the community edition, uh, whereas the Docker has its own edition, but we are picking which is from uh, a community edition of Docker. Okay, so I would like to go and install uh, my Docker on my CentOS operating system. And here uh, I need to go and uh, enable my EPL repo to get it to get my um, you know, uh, Docker installation to be done. So here uh, I have my uh, EPL repository, which is already enabled. So in case if you don't know how to uh, do the EPL repository, so you have, uh, you can just go and Google it. So basically you'll find uh, how to you know uh, enable EPL repository in your CentOS operating system. Yeah, so here uh, the version of the CentOS which I'm trying to uh, install over here is, uh, I'm using is CentOS 7.4 to install uh, Docker. So uh, I'm as an, I logged in as a normal user. So I'll just become a, a root user, and to do the installation, I'll become root and I'm install Docker hyphen y. So it just installs Docker and along with the required dependencies. And once after it is done, so we are going to start the Docker. Um, and uh, along with that, I'm going to enable this particular Docker service to start automatically at the time of reboot. So I'm just going to use that. And one, let's wait for it to get completed. All right, so it is done. And uh, here, uh, I'm just going to enable my Docker to be rebooted automatically at the time of reboot. I have done that. and. Uh, Let's start the Docker. So Docker is a, Docker is started, so and you can check it by using by checking the process once one way. You can check the Docker is running, and even um, you can also use systemctl command to check the status of the Docker, so which shows that it is running. So uh, that's all about the basic installation. But uh, I would like to start my Docker CLI uh, series of commands in the same uh, um, video itself. With the basic operate uh, and here uh, I'm going to give docker hyphen hyphen help just to see what all the options I have in uh, docker commands and in today's video uh, not today's actually in this series of videos we're going to talk about all these options and what they does with a simple example okay so out out here I would like to go and give like uh, I would like to use docker hyphen hyphen version so it is telling it is we are using 1.12.6 version and whereas um, you can also use another option so which is docker info just to get more information about the installed docker and even it will show you the complete configuration of the dockers which you are using and even it is showing like how many containers are running and how many images you are having and uh, so what all the uh, the basic docker information it is trying to show over here so i'd like to start it over here and uh, in my next video i'm going to start um, uh, the remaining options whatever out here I'm going to talk about. Okay, thank you everyone. See you soon.